Hello and welcome to Tungsten Tales. I'm John Scott and I'm here previewing every first round game of the Lakeside World Professional Dance Championship with Macy Ace, Chris Mason. Tuesday 9th of January, afternoon session at Lakeside on Channel 4. Ladies game, Eileen de Graff, number two seed. She's up against Paula Jackman, but Eileen's been in some great form this year. Yeah, she's. I think she's last three events she's played in she's won she's a, a world masters winner world trophy winner uh it's nice to see her playing not with a with a bump because the, <laughs> the last few years she, she seems, seems to have been pregnant her timing's not very good um but yeah she's a fabulous i'm a big big fan i i just love the way she plays the game she plays it with real passion and enthusiasm and she she properly throws her darts you know she's she's one of those that attacks rather than rather than throw at the target she tries to throw it in it and, I, and I'm a big fan and she's playing Paula Jacqueline who's she played, played a couple of times at Lakeside now and she always seems to be there or thereabouts in, in open tournaments and and then all the other ranking events but yeah she's got her hands full with with Eileen de Graff she's a she's a she's a potential winner for me she's she's top draw seeded number two for a reason and she's two to eleven um, now you know I'm not with some of these guys look, you know, um, tipping up these 20 to one shots. You know, when you've got nailed on shots like that, I can't, I can't see uh, and how Paula can win the game. And that's no disrespect. I just think Eileen's playing at such a higher level at the moment. All the stats you get back, the averages that we can get hold of, they're just night and day at the moment. You know, there's sort of, there's sort of 15 points between them, which in darting terms, that can be like an extra visit. You know, if we look at, say, the men's game with 100 average and, and 90, one's five visits or less, the other one's six visits or more. And that's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of difference you've got with Pauline and Eileen at the moment. So, yeah, for me, it's a, it's a tough draw for, for Paula. Uh, of, all the, of all the draws out there, you want to avoid those, you know, the sort of top four players in Eileen, Trina, uh, Anastasia, Lisa Ashton, obviously, and Dita. You know, they're the big names you want to try and avoid. And unfortunately, uh, Paul has run into, run into a big name. Now, it's obviously, it's the only TV title that Eileen's not won. Yep. Can you see her going all the way? Yeah, yeah I can, yeah. Yeah, she's definitely in with a, with a, with a big shout. Uh, she's coming into this event probably, uh, probably in her best form in terms of uh, results, tournament results. Like I said, the, the last three events she's entered, she's won. So what, why can't it be four? It's the same players. It's the same sort of standard. So I, there's no reason why she can't win it. And I think, I think she's worth having a look at if you, if backing outrights is your kind of thing. Maybe a maybe a little touch on on Eileen de Graff. She is four to one to win the title. It's a bit mean, but that just shows you how in you know how well the the bookies think of her and how well she's playing right now. Stay tuned right here on Tungsten Tales in association with Winmore Darts for all the post-match interviews and live updates from the Lakeside World Professional Darts Championship.